Humanoid cryptids have always been there stalking the history of mankind. These hairy relatives sometimes being considered friend, other times foe. Those that believe in the existence of the creatures are often firm in their beliefs. They usually point to strange sounds or fleeting glances as proof that they have encountered a living cryptid hominid. Outside of these reports, proof, however, has been hard to find. Many artifacts have proven to be nothing more than hoaxes. But does this mean we should lose faith in one day finding an animal like Wild Man, a Sasquatch or Yeti? Well, maybe not. Famously, the gorilla hid from the modern world for hundreds of years and was regarded as being a fictitious animal, an animal we now know to be real. Could there be another species of undiscovered great ape, a species said to stand at some six feet in height, aggressive and capable of tool use? Could it once and for all prove that there is more hidden in the forests and jungles of the world than people would rather admit? Let's take a look at the creature they call the Lion Killer. Welcome to IF, videos on history and mystery. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video again. The story begins with the discovery of an odd gorilla-like skull found in Central Africa during the 1990s. This skull had some distinct differences which provoked wild speculation about a new species of great ape. This skull was similar to that of a gorilla having the sagittal crest but was more chimp-like in its dimensions. Primatologists made the suggestion that the skull represented a new subspecies of gorilla. Others believed it to be a strange chimpanzee-gorilla hybrid. Locals in the area told of a monstrous man-sized ape that was feared and was so strong it was known to tear lions limb from limb. This story grew and the animal was given the name the Bondo Ape or Billy Ape. It was said that this cryptid ape could kill a fully grown lion using its bare hands and it was even capable of using simple tools and poison tipped arrows. Local hunters say they had heard the animal howling at the moon and when it is seen it is a huge, vicious, strong killer, an intelligent predator, both strong and smart, something these men feared. This is very much like the stories of wild men and even Sasquatch, the difference being that the stories about man-sized chimps were believed and science took serious interest. The University of Amsterdam and its primatologist Cleve Hicks tracked the mystery ape for over a year. Hicks and his team gathered many hours of film footage, collected DNA and examined the tools fashioned by these apes. Alas, genetic testing determined that the mystery apes were a known subspecies of chimpanzee. Although the species was known, the scientists did notice that this group of apes displayed unique group behaviors, a culture if you will. This included a high protein based diet. This could go some way to explaining the reported larger size of these apes. Could it also explain their intelligence? The consumption of meat has long been linked to the development of human intelligence. Are we seeing, before our very eyes, the beginning of a new, stronger, more intelligent chimpanzee species? So what behaviors made them different from regular chimpanzees? These animals nest on the ground like gorillas, smash open turtle and snail shells using hard surfaces. They use different types of sticks for collecting different species of ants and have been spotted feasting on leopard carcasses. Although little evidence supports the popular legend that the animals howl at the moon or are ferocious lion killers, that does not mean they aren't intimidating. In the deep forest, the chimps are fearless, approaching the men from the trees to get a better look, Hicks said. Rather than fleeing at the sight of humans as chimps in other regions tend to do, Mr. Hicks told of how previous researchers had only managed to snatch glimpses of the animals or snap photos of them using camera traps. Hicks was able to use his local knowledge to get a closer look and to photograph them, even filming them. Hicks spoke of his encounter saying, We were told of this sort of fabled land out west by one of our trackers who goes out there to fish. 
said Hicks, whose project is supported by the Wasmeoff Wildlife Foundation. I call it the magic forest. It's a very special place. Getting there means a grueling 40-kilometer track through the jungle from the nearest road, not to mention navigating croc-infested rivers. But when he arrived, he found apes without their normal fear of humans. Chimps near the road flee immediately at the sight of people because they know the consequences of a hunter's rifle. But these animals were happy to approach him. The further away from the road, the more fearless the chimps got. They can get away with sleeping on the ground opposed to other chimps even when there are lions, leopards, golden cats around, as well as other dangerous animals like elephants and buffalo because although I don't like to paint them as being more aggressive, maybe they prey on some of these predators and the predators kind of leave them alone. The ground nests are very big and there was obviously something very unusual going on there. This is not known elsewhere. This could prove another link to creatures like Bigfoot. Those that research the cryptid say that it too nests on the ground or in caves, a similar behavior that could have manifested due to the same cause, Sasquatch also having nothing to fear. The Bigfoot is also known to build and bend and manipulate trees and saplings into all sorts of shapes, maybe even creating tools. This behavior is seen with the Bondo apes. The primatologist describes the Bondo as having a smashing culture, having found hundreds of snails and hard-shelled fruits smashed for food. Chimps were seen carrying termite mounds to rocks to break them open and they also discovered a turtle that was almost certainly smashed apart by these chimps. As with chimp populations in other parts of Africa, the Bondo chimps use sticks to fish for ants but the Bondo apes take it to the next level with their two and a half meter long tools. The exciting thing about the Bondo is that it is much bigger than anyone first realized and could be one of the largest remaining continuous populations of species left in Africa. Mr. Hicks and his colleague Jerome Swinkles surfed eight. an area of some 7,000 square kilometers and found chimps everywhere, their unique culture being found throughout. However, the future for the Bondo apes is far from secure. Things are not promising, said Carl Amam, an independent wildlife photographer who began investigating the ape species in 1996. The absence of strong central government has resulted in most of the region becoming more independent and lawless. In conservation terms, this is a disaster. Maybe this provides us with the last and possibly saddest link to the Wildman legends. If the Bondo numbers dwindled, it is all too easy to see how they too could become a cryptic creature once again. Like Bigfoot, Sasquatch and Yeti, they would be consigned to legend. Fleeting glances of a six-foot hominid hiding in the jungle, the finding of discarded tools, maybe even large footprints seen in the ground. And hey presto, we have a new Congolese Bigfoot cousin. We must also remember that Neanderthals got very cozy with humans. Studies show that interspecies relations were a thing and that hidden inside our genomes are signs of ancestors that we never knew existed. Geneticists call them ghosts. We may not have much in the way of physical records for these ancient hominins. There are sometimes no bones, no tools and no archaeological remains whatsoever. Yet the traces of genetic code which they left within the fossils of other hominins and even in living humans too is offering profound and unprecedented insights into how our species came to be. Scientists have been studying the genomes of wild chimps and bonobos in Central Africa. They found odd fragments of DNA. The fragments couldn't be explained by ancient matings with each other or by random mutations. The DNA, they say, comes from an unknown or ghost bonobo population. This population must have become isolated, evolved independently and later mixed back in with its long lost relatives. Could that be the same with other types of cryptid hominid reported around the planet? Do you think this discovery provides hope in finding Bigfoot or any other of the many wild men? Do you think the Bondo chimps are an example of an evolutionary jump occurring before our very eyes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here on the channel, 
hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can catch the latest by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.